Hi, and welcome to another video, or part two of this DPF filter on this Peugeot 308 registered 2009. 1.6 HDI, normal five speed manual. I've had this warning for months and months, risk of filter blocking. Bought a Sealy tool, which I'll show you in a minute. Tried that the other day, it didn't work, and I'll show you in the video. If you send the first part of this video, start the engine, risk of filter blocking. Tried lots of things, asked loads of people, even the garage spent 50 pound at Peugeot, didn't get a definitive answer. Been back to Peugeot today and I said, if I spend 50 pound, can you tell my car it's got a new DPF filter? They said yes. They weren't sure if it would work because they haven't changed the filter. The filter is used and over 65% full up. So I get a turbo under boost every now and again. So I do fully expect to have to change the DPF at some time, but I haven't done it yet. All they've, all Peugeot have done today, genuine Peugeot dealer, told my Peugeot 308 it has a new DPF filter. So now start the engine and let you see no warning. Although this says the 2nd of October, it's actually the 3rd today. I've been busy since getting home at five o'clock loads of stuff to do and this is the only time I've got to do a quick video give you guys an update a definitive answer on getting that message removed so you do have to go to Peugeot uh, a Sealy tool that costs 135 pound and upwards and all the tools yeah right about 135 150 pound they're probably not going to work right let me start the engine There we are, no warning. And no warning triangle here. So it's cost 50 pound uh, today, 50 pound a couple of months ago, trying to establish why that warning was up. He didn't tell me then that when these cars get over 100,000 miles, I'm not ex exactly sure where the cut off, when the car does a regeneration, it clears the diesel particulate filter, but doesn't clear all the soot. So over 100,000 miles, 125, whatever, that soot builds up and the engine management, the ECU, so engine control unit or powertrain control module, keeps account of that ash and it builds up over 100,000 miles, 125, and eventually the filter is going to block up because they don't last forever and the regeneration never clears it back to brand new. So it makes sense, you know, 100,000 miles, you're gonna to need to replace the filter. So the warning comes up to indicate you've got a potential risk of the filter blocking. So uh, it's still got the old filter. As I say, I get a turbo under boost every now and again because the filter is partially clogged, only partial. It does regenerate uh, perfectly. I've got a glow plug issue. If you wanna know more about glow plugs on these Peugeots, and how the relay works, just leave a comment down below. If you get an anti-pollution in this window here, that's potentially the filter is so clogged, you've got excessive pressure. Uh, the pressure sensor measures the inlet pressure and exhaust pressure, so measures the difference across the input and output and knows how full the filter is. That's when the car knows to regenerate, when you're driving over 40 miles per hour for over 10 minutes. I think the book says 20 minutes, but this has regenerated in a 10 minute fast drive. So anti-pollution fault, drop it down a gear, race it for like a minute or so. That extra boost through the turbo and exhaust may just clear that fault as it did on this car. Yeah, if anti-pollution, if your car's slowing down uh, and it's lost half its power, and then potentially that DPF is getting blocked. But you know, drop it down a gear, rev it hard, drive it hard for a minute or two, that should clear that warning. So I'll turn the engine off again. Now I've had this risk of filter blocking ever since I've had this car, so start it up. Hey, happy days, no more faults. As I say, that clock's wrong. It's the 3rd of October today. And I've been so busy, look, it's nearly 8 o'clock. No faults there anymore. No faults there anymore. 
Now what I'll do, I'll put up a couple of pictures. If you're not familiar with the uh, DPF, diesel particulate filter, I'll put up a picture. And I'm now going to include some video using a 135 pound Sealy tool. That Sealy tool is meant to tell the engine management you, you know, one has fitted a new diesel particulate filter, so reset the soot counter or the ash counter. Uh, and it clearly didn't work as you'll see now. But just before I leave the car, no more triangle. Fantastic. Hi, welcome to quick video, part two of this diesel particulate filter warning I've got on a Peugeot 308 and it applies to many Peugeots, many Citroëns. So the diesel particulate filter isn't blocked, but I get this warning every time I start up. So if I start the engine, watch for this warning. Risk of filter blocking. Hopefully you can see that, hopefully the camera's focused. And that fault has been bugging me and it happens every time it starts up. So I bought a scan tool, had a faulty EGI valve. I occasionally get a turbo under boost, which is a sign that the diesel particulate filter is starting to get blocked and the regeneration isn't clearing it like 100%. I've also got a glow plug fault. The glow plug current to each plug is monitored by the glow plug relay. And if you've got one open circuit glow plug, the relay senses it and sends a mod, uh, sensor signal to the ECU. So that will give you a power relay fault. Um, if you want if you want information or videos on the glow plugs on Peugeot's, uh, in particular the current sense, uh, let me know in the comments and I'll do a video. But on my glow plug relay with the four resistors, I literally bridged the faulty glow plug to a good glow plug. So when the power or the voltage drops on the good glow plug, that drop is also sent to the faulty glow plug. So the ECU thinks I've got four good glow plugs. Right, so what I've done to try and get rid of that fault, I've received it just, I don't know, half an hour ago. It's a Sealy VS8626. They make them for a variety of vehicles. This one is specifically for the Peugeot, or this Peugeot 308, Peugeot and Citroëns. Um, and what it can do, it can regenerate your diesel particulate filter if you're not doing long motorway rides. When you change the additive in the tank at the back of the vehicle, which takes about four liters, you can reset it with this tool, tell it it's got a full tank. This is the full important to me, uh, light tool, Peugeot Citroën. So I'm assuming that warning is bringing on my warning triangle on my cluster as well. And it looks like you, you have to scroll through different menus, establish what system you've got in the car, uh, and look at the various dots, set the various dots on the tool up here. And then, so down here, look, so re, I'll filter replace so I want a red and a, a white, or red and white, red and off, on and off. I want to tell the system I've replaced the diesel particulate filter, even though I haven't, but this tool costs 135 pound from Folkestone Fixings on eBay. Uh, good company, well, I'm hoping it's a good company. I've received this just now and I'm about to give it a test. I specifically want to tell the car I've replaced the diesel particulate filter and see if that warning goes out. If that warning goes out, I'll be a happy bunny, and then I can simply instruct my local repair guard to change the cat. This experiment with this tool has cost me 135 pound. Right, so I've plugged it into the diagnostics. Uh, some lights came on down the left-hand side. If you turn to the back of the instructions, 
turn to the back of the instructions, there's a long list of what system your car should have. So using this button here, I scroll through the mode, this bit of paper, unless I'm mistaken, says it's got the DCM 3.5. So no idea what that means. So there's two lights over there, two lights over here. So that's the system. Then it says for mode, so for the mode down here, I want to tell the car I've replaced the filter. So left LED on, right LED off. So if I just show you, right LED only is additive reset. I don't want to do that. Really, you never want to do that. You never want to tell a car you've just replaced it. Otherwise, it's, you know, you're going to run out. Uh, and you're, not, you know, you're going to get some warning. It's not, you're not going to know why. So mode again. Look, so I could do my own regeneration. Might try that sometime on a quiet road. But no, filter replace. So left light on, right light off, and then I think the instructions say, okay. So replace filter. Once the function has completed, the mode LED will flash to indicate a successful reset. So fingers crossed. Here goes 135 pound. So the engine's not running. Okay. Try and hold it steady. Got no mode light flashing. Well, that was flashing there. I expected this to flash. So that was flashing. So that's telling me it's finished then. Let's give it a whirl. So I've not tried this before. You obviously saw the fault a minute ago. Fingers crossed. So here we go. Here goes nothing. 135 pound question. Right, ignition on. Set it up. Right, fuel, right, risk of filter blocking. So that hasn't worked, has it? And there's my warning light there. Right, so this car is a 308 from 2009. It says all codes, engine, or Citroen, and all codes. So it's different numbers, depending on what engine you've got. So I went for 3.4 and 3.5, none of them have actually told the system it's got a new filter. Well, so I've connected this iCarsoft i970 scanner what usually happens when I've been driving down a motorway or whatever, it regenerates some time and then this distance isn't updated. And whilst I'm driving, this distance isn't updated. I was driving for an hour and it stayed at, I don't know, close to 460 kilometers or something. And then five or 10 minutes later, after getting home and doing the ignition on and off, that then went to zero. Not whilst I was driving and after it had regenerated. So if I scroll up, exhaust differential pressure 11.6 millibar normally when i've been driving that drops down to two or three so that suggests the pressure in the exhaust is still quite high suggesting the particulate filter is getting blocked and the regeneration isn't clearing it so that's the differential pressure between the inlet and outlet two pressure sensors read dtc's the only one in there is this turbo pressure regulation. Turbo pressure measured too low and it's intermittent. Now I'm putting that down to a semi-blocked particulate filter. If you can't get the gas out, it's gonna restrict the gases and the turbo won't be able to do its job. The power relay fault has now gone, as I explained, that's one of the glow plugs and I've bridged one of the wires inside the glow plug relay. If you wanna know more on that, you know, leave us a message. So, so far I've told the car it's got yeah, a new filter uh, and it doesn't seem to be working. I've still got that error message. 
So after the regeneration, we'll see up here. So after the regen, risk of filter blocking. That is the only message I want rid of. Uh.